All right, Capricorn, a lot of stalking, spying. What's going on? Okay, Capricorn, the overall energy we have for you is the Page of Swords here, all right? So there is someone here who's watching you, stalking you from a distance, okay? This person's gathering a lot of information about you, doing a lot of research and trying to come towards you at the right time, okay? But definitely someone who's keeping an eye on you on your social media. In the past with the Emperor in reverse here, I feel you could have released a person who was a control freak. Someone who always wanted things their way. It's like my way or the highway kinds. But someone very, very stubborn. Okay. Someone who you're just not in alignment with. Or at the same time, this is someone, you know, who is just not taking control of the situation. Okay. A very um, haphazard kind of a, um, a relationship that you had with this person. Okay. But you were fed up and you gave up on this person. Right now with the temperance here, I feel you're healing. Okay, temperance is the card of something that happens in divine timing, okay? So I feel there's something that's going on behind the scenes, okay? But there's a lot of healing. There is a reconciliation probably that's coming into the scenes, okay? And uh, this is a very, very slow process, okay? So something's going to take a lot of time. If you're in a hurry, it's not going to work. If the person you're dealing with is in a hurry, it's not going to work, okay? So it's going to take their own time. And uh, in the near future, we have the moon here. <sighs> This is about someone having a lot of feelings, but trying to suppress these feelings, okay? Someone has a lot of love here, but they're trying their best not to show it, okay? Deception, but the deception is around their feelings, okay? Someone who feels a lot, but they won't say it. Um, let's see. King of Wands in reverse, okay? So there's someone here who you're dealing with who's not taking action towards you, okay? Now, this could be you, how you see yourself, okay? With the King of Wands in reverse here. You're being very laid back right now. You want to take action towards this person, okay? Or this person wants to take action towards you, but someone's just holding back because in your emotions with the King of Swords here, ah, see, you're being very logical. You want to take action towards this person, okay? Like you wouldn't like do it to, like today, but you're just holding back. You're being very passive in your approach because you're trying to be very logical this time. You just don't want to jump in impulsively to something that you just want very badly, okay? With the devil here, what's coming in your environment that you don't see coming is something very toxic, okay? But with the devil here, this is also the card of lovers, but the lovers with the dark side to it, okay? So you're going to be very tempted to entertain this person who's coming in towards you. But with the devil here, they're still bringing in that toxicity, someone who's very obsessed with you. However, in the outcome, we have the Four of Swords here. So there is going to be, um, I don't know if the communication is still going to start between you guys, but the Four of Swords is also withdrawn, retreating, right? Someone who's choosing to keep their mouth shut and think about a situation, but not take action. We'll see. What's the Page of Swords? What's the Page of Swords? Okay. Someone who you ended things with, okay? This is a situation that was just not getting to that point of commitment, okay? This person, you wanted commitment from them. They wanted it with you, but it was just not working out. You ended things with this person, okay? It could be as good as a long-term commitment, but it did end, okay? You let this person go, all right? And you no longer want to make this person uh, a priority already in your life. You stress a lot about them, but this person refuses to let you go, all right? Death in reverse here. They won't take action, but they won't even let you go at the same time. So I think this person's stressing the shit out, okay? This person wants recovery, okay? They don't want to get into the negative thoughts, but this person has a lot of self-doubt, okay? A very lot of negative self-doubt that they're doing, okay? About this relationship here, that's why they're just watching you, okay? Because they feel that things will not work out between you guys after this ending, okay? You've let them go, but they haven't, all right? This is someone you're dealing with who is non-committal, someone who wasn't taking the lead in the relationship. See, that's why the emperor in reverse. Uh, tell me about the... Emperor in reverse in the past. Let's clarify this. What's the emperor in reverse? Yeah. Um, clearly, there was a lot of disappointment in the past, okay? That had to deal with this person out here. So this is someone here who probably... Um, someone came off to be as very, very clingy and needy. Or this was someone here where, you know... This person refused to take a risk with you. 
they look at you as someone you know who was a big risk or someone who they didn't trust okay they were ready to want someone was ready to be in a relationship okay they might probably even wanted commitment okay but because there was a lot of crying over spilled milk okay or something just didn't land up the way you wanted to i feel this person has a lot to do with their past because of which which is influencing them in their current situation with you okay which is messing up the potential of this relationship this person has trust issues okay and all that has to do with the five of cups here they're constantly crying over spilled milk about the past something that did work out in the past yes this person was ready to be with you okay they probably gave up their uh singlehood you know but you were definitely dealing with someone who does not want to be um in a commitment okay someone who is very fearful of losing their independence you know but because they were crying over spilled milk they had no structure okay and they were just very rigid about their belief systems okay Commitment being one of them, non being non committal, someone who wanted something very non traditional. Okay, what's the temperance here in the current situation? Beautiful. Two of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. There is a situation here where someone's trying to work on commitment. Someone's trying to work on something long term with you. Okay, this is the same person who's trying to watch you from a distance. Okay, this person's thinking. Okay, they're going back and forth with a decision. They haven't made up their mind about wanting to commit to you. Okay, but they're not telling you. They're not talking to you about it. Okay, King of Swords in Reverse. This is someone who's not clearly communicating, or someone who's suppressing the truth from coming out in the open. This person's just going to be super slow. Okay, so don't expect them to come. towards you very fast okay it's going to be very very slow moving and um they're taking their time okay because two of pentacles they're constantly weighing the pros and cons about what you know trying to weigh out their options or this is someone you're who's trying to work out a way of how they can come towards you because i don't see you as someone who's wanting to keep you as an option otherwise we wouldn't have had the four of wands i feel this is someone you're who you cut out in the past okay someone who's very cold detached or this is how they're being towards you they're thinking of commitment with you but two of pentacles here they're taking their own time okay they're wanting to make the right approach towards you and that's what they're thinking about okay eight of cups someone who you walked away from all right but they're they're not letting you go like i said i can't stress enough What's the moon here in the near future? Again, the same shit. Oh, we have four cards. All right, we have the Tower in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Swords here. Someone's constantly sabotaging the connection here to avoid a disaster. There's one person here who's constantly watching, spying, looking the same shit in the near future. So I feel they're still not making a decision, and it is going to continue in the near future. Okay, they're still holding on. They're waiting. I think this person does not feel confident enough. They probably feel that either they will come in and things will get, like completely screw up. You'll probably just you know like blow the lid. Okay, you'll just shoo them away. You're gonna shut the case once and for all. they they're lacking the confidence because something didn't work out in the past right so what's happening here with the five of cups here this person tends to hold on to the past okay they don't they have a tendency of constantly grieving over what didn't work out what didn't work out what didn't work out okay so it's a very low vibration energy and when you stay in that energy right for too long you tend to get into depression which leads to a lot of inaction and that's exactly what's happening they're constantly focused and in investing their energies into what is gone which no longer exists okay instead of focusing on the present what they can work out they're like oh you know what it's not going to work out they keep talking themselves down you know they want marriage they want commitment you know but again they're like what if it doesn't work out what if um capricorn rejects me you know they constantly think about what can go wrong in this relationship if they pursue it rather than thinking of the possibilities you know taking leaps of doubt Yeah, see, there's again that same sabotage, holding on to their emotions. They're not going to talk in the near future too, because they're trying to avoid a disaster. This person's heavily, they're very afraid to approach you. You know, Capricorn, they're very scared to approach you. What's the King of Wands in reverse? Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? Clarify the King of. Hold on, clarify the King of Wands in reverse. One more card. The King of Wands in Reverse. 
shit, it keeps coming up over and over again in the overall energy. It's showing up in the reading also. You're dealing with someone who wants to take action, but they won't do it. They won't do it. They're determined to not take action. They're being very passive. They won't take the lead role. And the king of wands in reverse to me is someone who's just not confident about the actions that they want to take. You know, that th there's someone, you know, who's, I wouldn't say who's playing games because that's not what I see here. But this is someone who's very nervous, you know, very nervous. They're scared. They're very intimidated by you. Again, I just can catch the same thing. They're scared. You're going to reject them. You're just going to blow them off, you know. They're not confident about this decision, you know. That's why they're not taking the lead. Anyways, the king of wands in reverse here. The high priestess in reverse, knight of swords and the nine of wands here. You're dealing with someone here who wants to talk to you, okay. Who wants to talk to you like now. Like they would want to speak to you. Like this is, the knight of swords is someone who's wanting to talk, who's in a hurry, right. You know, who's very aggressive, but someone who wants to prove a point, okay. But the problem here is they're on guard. This is someone, you know, who you've dealt with over and over again, okay? This is definitely, this could be you because this is how you see yourself, okay? I think there's someone here who's coming towards you, okay? Probably someone who's coming towards you, breaking the silence, okay? You're finally ready to talk, you know, revealing their feelings. But with the nine of wands here, I feel you're very guarded. You've tried to make things work out with this person over and over and over again. But this time, I think in your emotions with the king of swords here, you're being very logical about this. It could also mean with the high priestess in reverse here, I'm getting... You are someone who's very intuitive, but this time your intuition is blocked. Your your intuition is telling you something, but you're interpreting your intuition in the wrong way. You know, there's like this issue where you're not being able to differentiate between your ego and your intuition. Okay, you're really pissed off with this person. Agreed. But in your emotions with the king of swords, and this time you're planning to do it very, very logically. Okay, no emotions, completely detached, you know, because again, nine of wands, you're holding on to this, you're not giving up. Okay, but that defense system okay you're so guarded from this person like you come back around with the same shit that's it you know so yeah there is communication or you're probably you even feel the need but it's just that for you you're just doing your best to hold back from this person who's the devil here why why the devil here this is someone you don't see coming in your environment this is what you don't see coming clap at the devil clap at the devil There is someone in your environment that's very, very toxic, okay? This is someone who needs to make a decision, but they're keeping you on an edge, okay? They're sitting on the fence doing nothing about it. Yeah, the same person I'm talking about. Someone non-committal, someone who's very, could be financially someone unstable, okay? So they're, they're very sure about what they want, okay? This person could be very confused in the past. They could have kept their options open. Even if they didn't have options, they just kept an open mind, okay, when it came to you. They were not zoned into you, okay? This time, they're very clear about what they want and they know they need to make a choice here, but they're still not making it. They're keeping you waiting. Someone non committal again, king of pentacles in reverse, someone who's not stable, someone who's probably more very materialistic, okay? If not materialistic, someone who's more focused on their money, business, career goals, okay? Relationship is not a priority for them and that's the kind of person who's in your environment, okay? That's why, see, that's why you feel the need to be very logical with this person because you're like, you know what, I'm done in involving my emotions. I get hurt every time and I'm fed up. What's the king of swords here? What's the king of swords? What's the king of swords here in your emotions, Capricorn? Jellybean, you're not putting in your work anymore. King of swords, queen of swords here. See? You feel, you, you've given this person an ultimatum, I feel, okay, or you just have a lot of questions if this person comes in. This person is your soulmate, okay, but I think you, you want to move towards this person, okay, you want to, but it's your logic that's holding you back. You know, you have a strong soulmate connection to this person, a soul tie. There is, um, you know, something, there's there's like this huge energetic difference, okay, that you have, not energetic, what, what am I saying? Um, yeah, there is a, a very big difference between you guys, could be age, could be, uh, could be a uh, place, something, okay, but there's, could be an age difference most of the times here, okay, but something very, very different about you guys, significantly different, okay, you're wanting to move towards this person because you have this strong urge, okay, you have the strong realization, this is the one for you, but with the queen of swords here and the king of swords here, right, you can't help but to be very, very, um, you know, you're being very fact-based right now, okay, like just logic, and you're just forced to think about this entire situation 
keeping your emotions on the side okay you're not putting in any work for now okay you're just done putting in the work i think you want this person to make a move towards you and if they do also you want them to come towards you with the truth and the reality and that's all you got for them okay was well, this person your see this is the kind of energy that you're hammering right the queen of swords you know the king of swords stuff like that and this person is coming off as the knight of swords the page of swords okay so this person is heavily intimidated by you capricorn okay maybe you'd want to just um get into a more um you know you don't need to take such a drastic approach towards this person okay energetically maybe you should soften your stance i don't know what they did to you this is a general reading so i don't know your story but that's what the reading says they're too in intimidated they want a commitment with you they want this with you but they're just not making a move towards you can okay? because they're not making a move towards you is because they're afraid they they're very fearful of what's going to happen you know which is why they sabotage this okay so yeah okay watching spying looking not doing anything about it you know not really directly communicating with you because they're just scared what's the four of swords here see that's what the outcome is there's still no movement what's the four of swords here the lovers the knight of pentacles in reverse and the seven of wands here someone needs to make a choice there's one person here who's just not putting in the work okay someone feels the need to guard themselves okay to stand up for themselves to protect themselves but the seven of wands to me is the energy of well, like do you really have a threat that you have to be so um guarded you know seven of wands is standing up for yourself right but this is also someone who's creating boundaries okay but there is this silent treatment that's still the outcome here there's just no movement here because this is someone who's still not moving towards you you're dealing with someone capricorn okay that's you knight of pentacles in reverse here you could be this one or this could be the person you're dealing with someone's very slow moving okay and this is someone who's stringing the connection along okay you feel you you're being strung along in the connection they know you're doing nothing the lovers here so there is the strong soul the, the lovers the six of cups dude i cannot um put even more emphasis on how strong this connection is okay which is why this person refuses to let you go which is why they don't want to end this but they're not putting in the work okay because seven of wands is this person's too defensive they feel the need to you know stand up for themselves but it's like with the seven of wands i feel this person's too defensive defensive in a way you know where they're scared they're afraid it's almost like um either this person is blocking you okay or they still block communication it's more like a defensive mechanism okay they have their guards up due to the past hurt okay so yeah this could when the seven of wands comes seven of wands comes in to me sometimes it's also like we're sometimes blocking something good that's coming your way and that's what they're doing they're coming in their own way or they're not putting in the work and effort right now okay things are just this could be someone who's very focused on their inner goals okay like working on themselves you know rather than wanting to work on the present situation or trying to work the situation out again they realize the soulmate connection they realize this twin flame connection but they're just blocking because because <laughs> i don't know the justice here see there's this energy of wanting to make things right they want to they want to work on this connection they want to rectify the situation they want to release themselves from the situation okay not release but this is someone who's getting out of their head and wanting to come towards you to give you that balanced relationship okay to make things fair but till then guards are up okay this is someone who's coming in their own way and you can't really do much about it okay the only thing you can do is energetically either forgive this person and move on or then just try to heal and try to soften your stance so that energetically they can feel open to coming towards you maybe you have this person blocked you know but yeah i don't see this person making a move towards you in the near future or in the outcome it's going to take some time all right i'm just going to tell you how it is so they are thinking about marriage or they are thinking about long term they are thinking about commitment okay they're not going to let you go so that's all i have for you all right if this resonates do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye